Alright everyone, it is day 77 and I'm going to clean my tank today. I'm also going to rearrange some rocks because I want more space on my sand. Um, I need a lot more room for my Fungia plate coral, which is this guy here. I want him to have more room to spread out. Um, as you can tell, the tank is filthy. There's red slime everywhere. I have a bunch of new filters though. I want them to tell my friend. Um, today's also their feeding day, but I'm gonna skip feeding them today. Um, cause I need to clean the tank. So I'm about to empty this beast out about halfway and start rearranging the rocks. Then I'm gonna do a water change and I'm probably going to clean the slime and the algae along the way, replace the filter, clean the filter as well. Just giving you guys a look of beforehand and then I will show you guys the result after and I'm actually going to record this entire crazy process so this video might be kind of long. All right.
So my phone actually died during the process. This is the finished product though. Um, I think it died right after I got done placing all the rocks and then I started placing all the corals in. But yeah, so these are the new locations of everything. I moved my mushroom rock up. Put those up there. I put my trees up top still. They were down here originally. See there's one down there still. But I didn't want it to be so close to the yellow polyps. My pulsing zinnias are still on this side. They really liked it over there. Everything's starting to open back up. Those are open. My brown and green polythoas are fairly open. That guy is probably not going to open up for a while. And I put that rock down there because it has those uh, green zoas on there. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought I killed Otis and Levi because I didn't see them while I was doing all this. But Otis is a great hider, apparently. And Levi, I put him in the bucket. I was able to catch him at the beginning of all this. But uh, when I was pouring the water back into the tank, I didn't see him. Um, and then I saw him in the tank when, as soon as the water started to clear up a little bit. So yeah, the biggest difference is actually just this side. I tried to keep this side exactly the same. So most of that is the same. Some of it is a little different though. Um, I wasn't able to get that much uh, clearance on my sand, especially because I had to add him back in. And then I added these at the bottom. Um, there's actually a little bit more room than what is here. But when it comes to putting the corals back on the rocks, you know, I had to, to spread them out more. Um, the biggest difference is that I moved this rock to the front. This is the very first rock that I ever had in my tank. That used to be, like, down there in the bottom. Um, so, that it, right there is a cabbage leather coral. Underneath it is an aptasia, which I need to kill. But that's a cabbage leather coral, and that needs light to uh, grow. It will low water flow, so you know, that's fine, but it needs light to grow and hasn't been doing so well. 
down there. Anyway, there's a lot of nooks and crannies. See, so yeah, there's a lot of holes. So Otis and Levi will have lots of fun, you know, swimming in and out. A lot of small places to hide. Um, one of the biggest things I also did was I made clearance at the top. Um, I didn't want it. I didn't want the corals to get burned by the light, especially on days that I'm away for a while and the water level gets kind of low. And then I also made clearance on the sides for the magnet because, you know, I get these big algae blooms and then I can't clean the glass. So yeah, this is the finished product. Um, I'm not going to update you guys on the corals today because, you know, yeah. Anyway, I did not do a water change as well because I had the I had everything out of the tank for a little bit longer than I anticipated. So I just poured the water back in. However, I did replace the filter. So I'm probably going to do a water change tomorrow. I did feed them today as well. Um, but I'm probably going to do a water change tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, I will probably update you guys in a few days or in a week. But yeah, see you guys next time.